that's definitely a concern I had, I had had, whether I would even be able to have children once I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. And um, it is very common that during pregnancy, your disease kind of goes dormant. It kind of goes in remission and you feel great. Because in general, when most people are pregnant, their body focuses on growing that baby and supporting the baby and it kind of pushes everything else aside. And so that was a definite benefit for me. I felt great. They, my, my doctors wanted me to stay on the immunosuppressant just in case um, they didn't want me to all of a sudden go off it and have my body kind of go into freak out mode while I had the baby. And so they decided the benefit outweighed the risk of staying on because it is not technically supposed to be used during pregnancy. But luckily there were no problems. Um, it's a very low risk, but still ideally you wouldn't want to take that risk. Um, so they, my doctors decided that I would just stay on it and then see how it goes afterwards with tapering off. Um, it is also very common that after you have the baby that you have a flare-up, which is where your body kind of, your, the disease goes into hyper mode and starts attacking things pretty strongly. And so I was a little bit worried about that. And so, um, and so I really tried to, while I was pregnant, to make meals that were good for me to eat so that after I wouldn't resort to those really bad foods like pizza every day, you know, because I was just short on time because of a newborn, you know. And so I really tried to make a lot of freezer meals. I tried to be prepared and I tried to have the people around me support me in that and try and help me stay focused on my diet so that I wouldn't have a, a huge flare up. Also, this other medication that I was put on shortly after I had my baby, I was put on it about two weeks after the low dose naltrexone, I believe has really helped me not have that flare up because I haven't had one. And so that is a pretty big blessing for me. So that is pretty common to have remission during pregnancy and a flare up after pregnancy. It's, it's very common. Um, as far as the ability to get pregnant, um, we were trying for a long time and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to, but this, this doctor who is specialized in autoimmune conditions, he helped me find out that my thyroid was also off. And he believes it is kind of all related, that the autoimmune condition can kind of make things everywhere kind of off a little bit. So he fixed that and put me on some thyroid medications to get it all in balance. And soon after I got pregnant because your thyroid regulates a lot of things, including your ability to become pregnant. Not always, but it's, it's very important in sustaining the pregnancy as well. And so I believe, I really believe that's why I got pregnant so easily after I was put on that medication in the thyroid, which is pretty much the, um, one of the biggest, uh, the main control of everything your body your hormones everything um, I really believe that's what helped me and so so because of Crohn's so as far as during pregnancy I was worried that I would have a flare-up um, because obviously if if you were to have a flare-up it would also affect the baby and negatively possibly and luckily that did not happen but um, that is why you want to be careful with your diet, especially during that time. Make sure you're maintaining a healthy diet, of course, to support the pregnancy as well, but to um, make sure your body doesn't go into flare-up mode. And also, you don't want to make any major changes with medications during that time. Especially if you've been on them a long time, your body can, um, can definitely react to a big change like that. So that's why they ended up keeping me on my medications, so yeah.